Welcome back. While other parts of the country are really struggling against COVID-19, Coloradans seem to be rising to the challenge in our fight. We are seeing low hospitalizations and low positivity rates here. Our 9 News health expert, Dr. Pyle Coley, is here to talk about those numbers and provide some context. Dr. Coley, good morning. So what can you tell us about the uh, demographic shift that we have seen here in Colorado? Good morning, Gary. So here in Colorado, we have seen a major demographic shift occurring between the two peaks of this first wave that we're in. So if you look at the first peak, it was comprised of very few kids. There was uh, that's shown in orange there on the left hand side. There was a little bit of pink there, which are the young adults. But you can see that the majority of that first peak is really made up of blue, which is the significantly older adults. On the other hand, if you look on the right hand side at the second peak, you can see we have more orange, so more kids. We have a a lot of pink. So the majority of the second peak is comprised really of young adults and then a very tiny amount of blue. So those older adults are relatively protected in the second peak. And this becomes important, Gary, to talk about the demographics because who the population is affecting actually affects how we interpret those test metrics that we talk about every day. And it affects hospitalizations too, right? Absolutely right. So hospitalization is one of those test metrics that we've been talking about for a long time. So if you look at the hospitalization curve, you can see that our seven day average for hospitalizations this week is 151, which is down from 172 last week, which was down from 202 the week before. And all along, I've been saying that hospitalizations are a very sensitive metric of disease activity because whether you get a test or not, if you're sick enough, you're going to get into the hospital. But now the big caveat is that because the population is younger, that's being affected and those people are less likely to get into the hospital at all, hospitalizations become less sensitive as a metric of disease activity. So it's a little harder to now track this to know what the disease is doing because those younger people were just less likely to get into the hospital. Yeah, is it the same, uh, is it the same logic for the positivity rate, which is also down? It's a, it's a great point. Yes, it is the, the same logic, very, very similar. So the positivity rate tells us of all of the tests that we're doing, how many percentage are coming back positive. And we're down to 2.76% this week, down from 407 a couple of weeks ago. But remember, the positivity rate also depends on the population being tested. So if all the older people are going to get the tests and the disease has shifted into the younger population, then you're going to see a low positivity rate, even if the disease activity is higher, because those younger people are just not going to get the test. So we have to keep that in mind when we interpret these test metrics every week, the positivity, the hospitalizations, that it's not just the metric itself, but what population the disease is in that tells us how sensitive it is. Okay, well, seems like we're doing fairly well right now. I hope, uh, I hope we just keep at it. Dr. Coley, thank you as always. Appreciate it.